Welcome back to another video everyone. So I've got two metaverse penny stock gems for you which are going under the radar. We have seen the crypto giant Grayscale say that the metaverse is a $1 trillion annual revenue opportunity and it comes as pieces of virtual land inside metaverse projects have sold for upwards of $2 million which for me is absolutely insane. And Grayscale said the metaverse is a big opportunity for the crypto world with investment accelerating and the metaverse has the potential to become a $1 trillion annual revenue opportunity across the worlds of advertising, digital events, e-commerce and hardware and Grayscale estimated that revenue from virtual gaming worlds could grow to $400 billion in 2025 from around $180 billion in 2020. We've previously covered metaverse penny stocks with strong potential and these two gems are equally as good and have some ambitious growth plans to tap into the $400 billion opportunity. So you want to make sure you watch this video to the end so you don't miss out on what could be the future of this disruptive technology. And also please drop a like on the video if you enjoy it, leave me a comment on what metaverse stocks you are holding right now and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on these gems. And also if you want to maximize your investment opportunities, you should consider joining my private discord where you join a strong 11,000 member investment community making big money on a daily basis. We have live trading and coaching sessions with some top analysts and traders there with some great calls to make you some incredible gains. And even if you're new, we can help you there abundantly so please check out the link for the 3 day free trial period and see for yourself. Thank you so much and let's get on with it. The first stop is ESC Entertainment, ticket number on the OTC. ENTF, NTF, and on the Canadian Venture Exchange ESE. It has a share price sitting at $1.20 and a market cap of $72 million. ESE is up 18% over the last month and also up 31% year to date. And when you look at its journey year to date, it appears to be on the bounce from its lows of 79 cents per share and it appears that the market is beginning to take notice of it following their recent acquisitions. Their shares have come down from the highs of over $3 per share in March, so they could certainly have some way to run. ESC is OTC QB listed with an average of over 74.6k shares traded over the last 30 day period and over 61.6 million shares outstanding. ESC is a European based entertainment and technology company focused on gaming, particularly on esports. The company provides a range of services to leading video gaming developers publishers and brands by providing technology, infrastructure and fan engagement services internationally. And ESC operates its own e-commerce channels, esports teams and gaming leagues. In addition to the company's organic growth opportunities, the company is considering selective acquisitions that align with its objective of becoming a dominant global player in esports technology and infrastructure. ESC signed a definitive agreement to acquire European esports media and technology company Frenzy. And Frenzy is a media and production infrastructure company focused on the video gaming industry. And the company creates and executes esports and gaming events, broadcasts, and media content. And it also operates professional mobile automated TV equipment, allowing it to produce reality shows from every part of the globe. And its main revenue streams include TV production events and league organizations and advertising campaigns. Their CEO Conrad Wesselia commented that they are excited to sign this agreement with Frenzy, a leading production and technology company for the esports industry. And Frenzy has contracts with some of the world's largest gaming publishers and delivers a suite of products and services that complement ESC perfectly. And by completing the anticipated transaction, ESC will strengthen its position and deliver a fully supported 360 solution for the esports and gaming industry and they believe that anticipated synergies will be clear and immediate. And furthermore, the acquisition will allow them to expand their relationship with media conglomerate Pulsat which further provides tier 1 infrastructure for expansion. And in a recent Wall Street Reporter Next Superstock Investors livestream, their CEO Conrad shared that revenues have increased to over $25 million run rate which is a tenfold increase in 10 months. And Conrad says this is just the beginning as his goal is building ESC into a billion dollar global esports enterprise. He shared that ESC now has a growing esports M&A pipeline with over a hundred million dollars in annual revenues 
and expected to close a significant number of these potential transactions in the coming months. And he said the company is now ready to scale, expanding its global footprint with new partnerships with global brands like Porsche and Kia, driving revenue growth with aggressive focus on top line sales, margin expansion and M&A opportunities. And so ES is now rapidly expanding with multiple revenue streams including eSports infrastructure software, powering global tournaments, exclusive digital media distribution, broadcast rights and owning world class leagues and teams. So really really exciting stuff with this penny stock and one to watch over the coming months. And on to our next stop which is Alpha Esports Tech, ticker number on the OTC, APETF, which is sitting at 22 cents per share and a market cap of $30 million. So what clearly seems like a very very tiny penny stock here, but when you look at its journey till date, it has the ingredients of what could be a huge monster from current levels if they can turn around their performance as Alpha is down 12% on the month and 71.9% year to date which puts it in deep deep value territory. And considering that this penny stock was exchanging hands at highs of $16 per share in June, this tells me a turnaround in performance could be explosive here. So could this be the perfect time to buy the deep? Alpha is OTC pin current listed with an average of over 77.7k shares traded over the last 30 day period and over 60.3 million shares outstanding. Alpha Esports Tech is a technology company that focuses on emerging industries in esports, mobile gaming, e-commerce and other high growth opportunities. And through a strong portfolio of technology assets and products, Alpha Esports Tech brings a unique mass appeal focus to modern gaming platforms. They announced that Alpha subsidiary Paradise City Gaming has begun the development of its metaverse technologies which are AR based experiences that will bring the virtual world together with the physical world. And using Niantic's software toolkit, Lightship, the same technology that was used to develop Pokemon Go, Paradise City will start developing experiences encouraging users to participate in real world challenges with the opportunity to earn NFT rewards and alpha coins, alpha's utility crypto token. And Pokemon Go is one of the highest downloaded apps with over 100 million downloads on the App Store and the Google Play Store. And their CEO Matthew Smith commented that they have always been a pioneer of new technologies and they continue to show their commitment by integrating the metaverse within their business model. And they believe that esports and mobile gaming will be one of the first integrations into the metaverse and it is important to stay ahead of the competition. And Paradise City will continue to work on metaverse technologies and integrations within the alpha ecosystem including products which drive user engagement and monetization for the company. They also announced the closing of 100% of heavy chips and sports betting, a fully operational online gaming site with over 800 popular casino games and over 5000 sports betting opportunities every day on sports such as football, tennis, basketball and more. And Heavy Chips provides access to live dealer games, casino slots, arcade casino games and sports betting. They also signed an exclusive partnership with the North American Rugby League, which is scheduled to be the only professional rugby league club competition in North America. And the league has announced 14 teams, 12 from the United States and 2 from Canada. An inaugural season was planned for 2021 but has been postponed until 2022 due to the increased health and safety needs regarding COVID-19, insurance and travel costs. So some very very interesting and mind blowing prospects are here for this metaverse penny stocks, but only consider getting in if the price is right for you and fully understand the risk. This video is not financial advice, a buy or sell recommendation, but it's meant to bring some new and exciting penny stocks to your attention for you to do your own research. And as always, I would love to hear from you. So please let me know your thoughts on these top penny stocks in the comment sections below and what other metaverse penny stocks are catching your eyes lately. And if you're new to my channel, please ensure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please check out this video right here or this playlist right here to watch equally insightful content from the channel. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to having you in my next video. Thank you.